pseudo class selector acts as if you've added a class to an element in your markup. Now the first I'm going to have a look at is first child. So this will target an element when it's the first child of a parent. And it was actually part of CSS 2.1. In my markup here I've got a div with a class of wrapper and then we've got some paragraphs. Now perhaps I just want to target the first paragraph here and not the second. So I do that with the first child and you can see that it starts with a, a colon which comes directly after the element that we're wanting to target. And that just gets the first of those paragraphs. And we also have last child. which gets the very last child, the very last paragraph that's inside wrapper, which happens to be this one here. Then we have something called nth child. And this lets you select multiple elements according to their position in the document tree. And where you tend to first come across this is in creating striped table rows. So I've got a table here with people's names and their favorite color and their favorite animal. And I'd like to stripe those rows because that makes them easier to read. So we use nth child and we say odd. So this is targeting the odd rows um, and we'll just set a background color. And we could change that to even. Now those are keywords, they're not the only way to use nth child, you can target specific rows. For instance, I could target row number one or row number two. And you can also use fairly complex numeric values. So the keyword odd is equal to this. And there's a couple of really great links in the documentation that goes along with this video if you want to go in in detail as to how that actually works and there's sort of an online tester where you can go and and play around with that. We also have nth of type and that allows you to select multiple elements according to their position in the document tree but only those elements that are the same as the type the rule is applied to. So that's quite handy where you've got a document with lots of different kinds of elements you want to just get some of them. So in this document I have headings and I have paragraphs. If I only want to stripe the paragraphs, for instance, I'm not sure why I'd want to do that, but as an example, we could say p nth of type odd and that gets the odd paragraphs or the even paragraphs. It works in the same way as nth child but it avoids things like headings, tables, and everything else that's in the document. We also have only child, and that will match if an element is the only child of its parent. So where you might use this is if you've got lists and they're coming out of a CMS, you don't know how many items are gonna come. Sometimes a list appears that's only got one item. And so in that case, you could say, If the ally is the only child, maybe we just remove the bullets. And you can see that my single item here now doesn't have a bullet. We also have empty. Now this will match only if uh, the, say you've got a paragraph here, and it's got to be completely empty, as in no white space, or it can contain an HTML comment. So here we do p empty. Um, give it a border so we can see them. So there we go, let's give them a height as well. So there we go, these are empty paragraphs. They are, But if I put a space in here, that's now not empty, so it's not targeted by the empty pseudo class selector. And then we also have not. And so that will target something if it isn't something else. So for instance, I could say td not and then we've got animal so you see we've got a class of animal on this cell 
and here everything else has gone bold but not the ones where we said not so that can be quite useful you just pass in a selector that you want this not to happen to and then it will happen to all the others